The digital news portals unlike the conventional media, newspaper or electronic media do not have to get any sort of approval from government authority for their launch. So for the bunch of thugs who are waiting to destroy the government, this is a thrilling loophole. How nice if the government makes stringent laws on who should talk news. Hey, you are a fact checker, bloody get the approval from the government. But BJP would never do that. They want to encourage free speech. All those who talk rubbish that BJP is against free speech, this is the reality. So this is an open opportunity for all kinds of idiots to become great influencers and attack the government. Drive their herds of blind followers to attack our businessmen, our sages, our economy, education, market and media itself which contribute to the growth of the nation. A large number of such thugs have consolidated under an umbrella called DGPUB. These digital news portals under DGPUB propagate narratives targeting the government and its policies. What are the origins of DGPUB? What are its associations? Modus operandi and more importantly finance. Let's get into the facts. DGPUB News India Foundation was formed on October 27, 2020 by 11 Indian digital news outlets. Alt News, Article 14, Boom Live, Cobra Post, SW News, NewsClick, News Laundry, Scroll.in, News Minute, The Quint and The Wire. The formation of these associations came at a time when the union government expressed the desire to regulate digital media through IT Rule 2021. Within a short duration, DigiPub has become the largest association of digital news outlets in the country, having 111 constituent members at present, 11 founding members, 81 portals and 19 individual commentators. Its membership is open to digital-only news organizations, freelance journalists and commentators who run a digital news channel or a social media handle but may not have an incorporated company. Here is a list of thugs associated with DigiPub. Take a screenshot and preserve this. You must go through it and stop watching these portals and tell your friends that these are fake news portals. And also when you watch or read content online, please make a habit to check the logos or names of their handles. If it belongs to anyone in this list, then take it for granted that it is anti-Indian and has zero credibility. Preserve this list in your mobile phones. Keep it handy. Share it with friends. This gang is a staunch critic of BJP government and involved in creating narratives against the ruling dispensation. The similarity among these members is that they either left or had to leave mainstream media and join DigiPub. It affirms the fact that DigiPub is the preferred choice of averse freelance journalists. It is the DGPUB constituent portals which have been critical on issues like poor handling of COVID pandemic, vaccine strategy, abrogation of Article 370, farm laws, CAA, demonetization, Pegasus issue, hijab ban controversy and all kinds of nonsense that we have seen till now. They are the ones responsible for creating havoc and unrest in the country. I can give you 100% assurance that the country would be peaceful if we eliminate DGPUB. Okay, how dangerous DGPUB is? Look at their outreach. This is a depiction of social media influence of prominent anti-government portals comprising of prominent individuals. These portals are culminating into an alternative source of news than the conventional media. Our research team has made a comprehensive assessment of these portals and here are some revelations. Obscure domain details. The resistant details of the domain pertaining to the portal have been found to be hidden in most of the case. Server of the most of the above portals are located abroad. Existence of anti-establishment association. DigiPub has attracted more digital news portals within its ambit than any other association. Its membership in the span of two years since October 2020 has swelled seven folds. DigiPub has become the preferred destination for anti-government journalists such as Abhishek Sharma, Ajit Anjum, Akash Banerjee, Barkhadat, Karan Tapar, Neha Dixit, Paranjoy Guha Takurta, Sakshi Joshi, etc., who were once part of mainstream media and presently run digital channels on YouTube with one and only agenda destroy Modi government. To all the victim card players who always say, Oh, anybody who questions the government, I label them as anti national. You know what? Not even once DGPUB appreciated the government. The year long content analysis of DGPUB constituents could not find a single article appreciative of government. In all these years in power, government hasn't done anything good. If you are such a wonderful person questioning the government's mistake, then you should also talk about good things done by the government, right? The fact is, these are portals dedicated towards maligning and destroying the government but not correcting the government. What is the proof? The fall to content published by most of these portals itself is the proof. 
the dc pop constituents in particular are involved in creating anti government narrative and targeting the credibility of the government by projecting in bad light i would be glad to have portals who question the mistakes of a government in fact whenever i get to interact with bjp ministers we discuss how nice if we had a strong opposition party which is hindutva based but we have this congress which is a party set up to destroy india sell india to british or pakistan it's not an opposition party the very existence of congress is a threat to the nation we have hosted jihad itself in our home as opposition congress is more dangerous than pakistan and china i repeat anyways to reconfirm my point that dg pop is anti national just look at the twitter handle not even a single tweet appreciating the government or sharing some government activity what does it mean in their propaganda websites they give a fake impression to public that they rely only on subscription or crowdfunding as their revenue model over the pretext of supporting independent journalism to remain free from commercial or political pressure you know what they receive huge funds from various philanthropic institutions ngos and foreign entities the financial assistance rendered by the institutional entities to digital news portals are in the form of donations investments trainings rewards and fellowship and these institutional entities are particularly based in india and us the major part of the funding is in the form of donations the constituents of dg pub have been major beneficiary of institutional donations compared to others they prominently receive donations from a bengaluru based charitable trust independent and public spirited media foundation which has been incorporated by azim premji foundation and rohini nilakani since 2015 ipsmf has donated around 93 crore to 50 digital news portals out of 24 associated with digipub this is their philanthropy is all about promoting portals destroying india The Digipub constituents also received investments from US based dubious organizations such as Omedia Network and Open Society Foundations. In September 2021, Government of India had put a restriction on these NGOs for funding Indian entities or individuals without prior clearance from MHA. Open Society Foundation belongs to George Soros. I have said enough about George Soros. When we exposed George Soros 2 years back, including the whole list of NGOs and people trying to destroy the nation, they got my video deleted and trolled me. But anyways, I'm so happy now to see a lot of news portals carry the news today that George Soros is a threat to India. This international villain is a prime donor of various foreign organizations such as Reporters Without Border, Global Investigative Journalism Network, Vidam Institute, Sherpa, which portrays India into bad light. RSF through World Press Freedom Index projects India to be a dangerous place for plasticizing journalism. The Wire had carried Pegasus investigation along with Amnesty International which too receives funding from OSF. The Sweden based Vidam Institute in its Democracy Report 2022 has projected India as electoral autocracy. The French NGO Sherpa had filed complaint against the Rafael deal. DG Pub constituents are receiving funding from foreign institutions which in turn receive funding from OSF and Omedia Network. Facebook under its Facebook journalism project for fact checking has collaboration with four digipub constituents such as Quint Boom Live, Fact Crescendo and News Meter. Does it mean to say all the Facebook users are anti-nationals? Don't be silly. Don't be that silly. I have no reach on Facebook. All my pages got unpublished. This is how corrupt Facebook is. They are not neutral. They are 100% anti-Indian. Digipub is not merely functioning as an association it has also been incorporated as a company Digipub News India Foundation with registered office and all it has emerged as a cohesive force having capabilities to galvanize various national and international organizations in its supports whenever its constituents face any administrative action from government agencies such as FIR IT or ED surveys the whole ecosystem comprising of human rights activists academicians literatures journalist bodies such as press council of india Editors Guild of India come forward and issue statement denouncing the action hold signature campaigns and lead social media campaigns to propagate freedom of press being curbed by the Indian government here comes the most dangerous thing it is assessed that expecting government backlash over their anti government narrative these portals realize the need of setting up legal network of their own hence dg pop intends to constitute legal aid centers through crowdfunding In this pursuit, the portals such as Bar and Bench, the Leaflet, would be having fundamental role as these constituents maintain close contact with activist lawyers. Besides, lawyers such as Indira Jay Singh, Vrinda Grover, Anand Grover, Colin Gonzalez, Upper Gupta, Prashant Bhushan, Sautik Banerji, Abhinav Atre, are most likely to be associated in this endeavor as they have been already working in cohesion with DGPUB constituents. 
Moreover, the constituents of DGPUB often invite legal interns having legal background for recruitment and training purpose. DGPUB members are being probed by central agencies over charges of financial irregularities. Newsclick is facing a money laundering case based on an FIR lodged by Delhi Police, alleging that PPK Newsclick Studio Private Limited received an FDI of 9.59 crore from Worldwide Media Holdings LLC USA during the financial year 2018-19. It is further stated that the money received by Newsclick from US-based companies was channeled to Gautam Navlaka, human rights activist, and accused in the Bhima Koregaon case. Prabir Purkayastha, who was recently granted interim protection in the case by Delhi High Court, is the founder and editor-in-chief of Newsclick. He is also the vice chairperson of DGPUB and also the person managing the social media accounts of Communist Party of India. News laundry was raided by Income Tax Department on September 10, 2021, over the charges of tax evasion. In September 2020, IT department has conducted a raid on the premises of HW News for alleged tax violations. Delhi Police is investigating embezzlement of funds of Alt News. DGPUB's first chairperson is Dhani Rajendran. General secretaries are Ritu Kapoor of Quint and Abhinandan Sekri of News Laundry. Here is the list of key provocations of digital media outlet associated with DGPUB. <sighs> I'm not sure whether YouTube will let this video survive. Whole bunch of leftist gang will attack and mass report this video. I'm okay if you download and upload in your portals. It has to go viral. Please take a few moments, like, share, and write your comments.